How is everyone doing out there today? It is Andrew from IDB here, and we're gonna take a look at the Eve Room. The Eve Room is a passive HomeKit accessory that can make your smart home really smart. This is what actually kind of allows you to do cool and different things with your smart home. And of course it is HomeKit enabled. It runs off of three AA batteries, the home kit code is printed on the back. Those batteries should last you most of the year, probably maybe 10 months or so, which I feel is pretty solid. It does communicate over Bluetooth low energy, so it really only will work with HomeKit and the Eve app, so it's not going to work with Alexa, but if you're a HomeKit user, this is definitely something to check out. Setting this up, as always with HomeKit, is dead simple. You simply open the Home or the Eve app and scan that HomeKit code and you can add it to a room and name it whatever you need to do. Now this is a passive sensor, so it doesn't really do anything by itself, but using HomeKit, there's so many things you can do. There are three different things that the room can measure. So humidity, air quality, and temperature. So what I have here, I have a few accessories I'm also gonna set up. I have a iHome HomeKit you know, power adapter here. There's also one from Eve, and I've gone ahead and set that up as an outlet and connected an air purifier. Now I can turn on my air purifier from HomeKit, from Siri, from my phone, whatever it is. So I can just say, hey, Siri, turn on the air purifier. And with a little switch, boom. Just like that, light comes on, purifier starts running. I can do the same thing with maybe a fan. So if you have, I have a Dyson fan here, just set on cool, I can tell Siri to turn on the fan and fan will start to go. Or a humidifier or a dehumidifier. So I can take those active things and I can schedule them. But when do you wanna schedule them? Well, based on the conditions. So we're gonna jump here into the Eve HomeKit app, which even if you don't have any of the Eve accessories, this is a fantastic HomeKit app that you should absolutely check out and it's free. So we're gonna look at this kind of rule here. We're gonna first choose a trigger. So it's a value trigger. Then we're gonna look at a condition and then what we want to do. So I need to choose the room. So my Eve room is in the dining room. So I'm gonna open up the dining room and when we scroll down, you will see we have um, air quality. Perfect, just what I need. So air quality and now the condition of this. So what's the condition? So it is better is or worse than. So in this case, I want to turn on something when the air quality is, is not good. So if it is worse than good, so fair, inferior, poor, something's going to happen. So that's what I have in there so far. So there is my, my trigger and my condition. So all of those are already set up for me. The condition is worse than good and the trigger would be air quality. And we're gonna hit next once more, going on to what we want to happen next. So in this case, you could choose a scene, so I could do multiple things set up into one scene, or I can do just one thing at a time. So I'm going to go to the actions, all the different actions that I can do, and I'm going to choose a room once more. So this time it's in the kitchen. My It's kind of a one big home here, um, open floor plan, so technically kind of the same area, and I'm gonna turn on the air purifier. So what could be a scenario here is I'm cooking, or maybe my girlfriend is cooking and she burns something, the room is going to detect, oh shoot, the air quality is not that great and it's going to send over a signal over to the air purifier and the air purifier is going to turn on and it's going to clean up that air and hopefully not set off the smoke detectors or the alarms or anything. So once I have gone ahead and given it a name, here is my summary. So the rule name is smog. It is enabled when the air quality is worse than good. Clean the air by turning on the air purifier. All set, good to go. This is useful for us for a couple reasons. It could be great in the kitchen, definitely great in the kitchen, but we also have a bunny and some other stuff going around and we have allergies. So this is great to kind of detect whenever there's stuff in the air for the, the animals or we have windows open outside. It can help clean that up and get our air quality to be better than it is now. You can see a nice little graph of it. So this is just using the room in general as kind of that sensor. You can see over time what your room looks like, what your air quality looks like. And the same thing with your temperature and, hum and your humidity, the two other readings that the Eve room is collecting. I really find it so interesting to be able to see that information over time and kind of compare it with what's going on outside and seeing how outside is affecting the inside and be able to make smarter rules based on that. So let's go ahead and try this again. This time we'll run through it a little bit faster, but we're gonna do it off of temperature. So we went to the dining room um, when the temperature is above a certain degree, so if it's above 72 and a half or so, I want to turn the fan on. 
I am I get warm very easily and I want the fan to come on but some of the rooms don't cool down as well as other rooms in the house so we have you know extra fans that can help circulate that air and get it lower so in this case we're going to turn on a fan inside the dining room going to scroll down yep we have the power right there uh, for the Dyson so we're going to turn on the Dyson whenever the temperature gets too high just like last time we're going to apply some names so the actual scene will be fan cooling down and then going to next and we're going to name our rule which is just too hot so we have smog which turns which helps us when our air quality is bad we've got too hot which is going to help us when it is too warm in certain room inside of the house and of course we could do this for humidity and dehum dehumidifiers as well if those are things that you have running and want to make sure you're just keeping your house and everything in the best shape possible some downsides to the Eve room though, we're here in Apple's HomeKit app and you can see those rules. You can see that automation that we created in Eve, but you can't actually create what we did in the Eve app here in HomeKit. So it just kind of shows how Eve is maybe a better HomeKit app than Apple's is right now, but it does show us some of the extra stuff that you can do using Eve room. Of course, you can always ask for what's the temperature in that specific room? What's the humidity? What's the air quality in here? You can ask Siri all those and you can use it to control many other devices in your HomeKit setup. So if you are really serious about your smart home and really actually want to make it smart, something like the Eve Room can definitely help you out. There is a link below in the description. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and throw your questions down below in the comments. Till next time, it's Andrew for IDB.